is Krista Watson here from Krista Quilt, and I'm coming to you from my studio in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am so excited to be one of the upcoming instructors for the Pacific International Quilt Festival, and today I thought it would be fun to give you a studio tour. You wanna to see where all the magic happens? Check out the place where I create. So come on in and take a look. We'll start along the back wall, which is my favorite wall in my sewing room. It features a quilt on my design wall, and this design wall doubles as design space, basting area, and also my photography studio when I need nice flat shots of my finished quilts. In the little corner here, I have a whole bunch of bright, colorful quilts from my patterns and books. Let's take a closer look. You can see that I love designing fun, bright, colorful prints, and I have six fabric lines currently out with Benertex. These feature a wide variety of colors and prints, and you can see how I really love to add in machine quilting. Down here at the bottom, you can see this lovely texture that I do when I'm doing free motion quilting. Several of these I will teach in my free motion quilting class. Over here on the design wall, I have my puzzle box quilt, which is actually a free pattern that you can get over on my website. Let's take a closer look at the quilting on this one. One of my favorite go-to motifs is called walking foot waves. It's irregular, organic, wavy lines that you can easily quilt with a walking foot or dual feed system. This fun pattern features my new Good Vibes fabric. All you need is a couple of jelly rolls to get started and make this one in a flash. Along this wall is where I do the majority of my work. On my little laptop underneath a bright sunny window, I work on blog posts, fabric design, pattern design, social media, and all sorts of correspondence. I don't need a whole lot, just a nice sunny day and a good attitude and I'm ready to go. Over on the sidewall, this is one of my patterns featured in my latest book, Teaching Improv Piecing. The area underneath is where I set up my ironing board and when it's not set up, it's tucked away in one of these cabinets. Over in the center of the room is my pride and joy, my Bernina 770 QE. I do all of my piecing and quilting right here. The table it's on is a nice big surface area with a drop-in section. And over here, just for fun, I collect lots of fun and interesting stickers that all kind of go along the side to give me a little bit of fun and whimsy. I've got down here, you'll kind of laugh, I'm short, so I have a little floor pillow, and that allows me to shove that under the machine if I need a little more height so my feet don't dangle. Under my workstation, I have another one of those as well, tucked away and out of sight. In the back area, you can see that I have floor to ceiling cabinets. I love this area because I don't like a lot of mess, so everything gets tucked away and out of sight. You wanna see what's in those cabinets? Come on in, let's take a look. And now that my cabinet doors are open, I can reveal some of my secrets. This tall cabinet here is actually my favorite because it holds a full-size ironing board and a big board on top of it. Plus there's room for a step ladder and extra equipment that is a little bit oversized. I also have lots of room for batting in the upper shelves and lots of odds and ends in some of the shelves that are closed. I like to keep my iron and I am a big advocate for starch. So that kind of goes right here in this slide out drawer. I keep lots of threads below. I love using Aurifil and I have three collections. This is where I keep all of those plus a little extra stuff to have on hand. You can never have too much thread. I've got books and odds and ends, scrappy areas. I'm kind of collecting some salvages, all of my scraps by color. And then up here, these are all of my fabrics from my fabric collections. This is my personal stash of fabrics sorted into fabric collection with a few odds and ends, works in progress up on the top there. Down here, a couple more fabric ends and some more drawers that are kind of closed and tucked away because we don't wanna see what's going on there yet. One of my favorite drawers holds all of my ruler storage. I bought a couple of those little wooden uh, rack holders and it corrals all of my rulers without any mess. I've got lots of room for extra things such as my thread collections and my books. And this is where I store all of my patterns. Normally I take fabrics, patterns, and supplies with me when I teach in person. But of course, since we can't do that yet, this holds a lot of extra things that I can mail out to you if you wanna get them. Over here, this is my little banister leading up the stairway and it serves as my work in progress area. Over here is my last little nook with a nice flake wall that I think needs a quilt. 
Here's where I keep a bunch of my little mini quilts. I use these as class samples and they kind of decorate this space. Right here is my cutting and packaging area. So if people want to buy my patterns or fabrics or things, I can get those all prepared right there with lots of postal mailing supplies underneath there. I have one more area to show you and then we're done with the tour. This room is my guest room, but I also call it the fabric room. I really enjoy having a quilt on the bed and we can take a little closer look. This is one of my versions of Charming Chevrons and look at the really fun quilting I've done on these bright colorful prints, some little swirls and some fun wavy lines, all kind of free motion. Again, this is really easy, fun designs that I can teach using your free motion quilting. It's all about texture and imperfection. I've got a little cutting center here, and here is where I keep all of the extra bolts of the fabric lines I have designed. Again, these are all my pre-cuts. Normally I bring these with me to class so that students can purchase a little souvenir, but you can also get them from me online and I'm happy to ship. Lots of bolts, a very colorful fabric, makes for a really fun room. Whenever a family member comes, they get to sleep on the bed and wake up to a bright, colorful room in the morning. I hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of my sewing studio. Since we can't meet together in person, this is the next best thing. So join me for the Pacific International Quilt Festival and sign up for my machine quilting classes where I'll teach you all my tips and tricks. For all of the fun things you've seen here in this room, make sure you visit KristaQuilts.com for more info and all of the quilts and everything that you've seen. Until we can meet again, happy quilting.